So I'm winging this, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. I am the soul leader for those of you who may not know who I am. Um, So I had some messages come to me. It's been about a week. And I haven't put it out here. I haven't had the time um, to... Um, and when this came to me from the Lord, the song from Mary Murray came up. And is the song is, I just can't give up now. And the other song is uh, by Marvin Wines, A Saint is Just a Sinner Who Fell Down. Now, title of this video is Healed and Fearless. Now, I tell you to be courageous, bold, and have faith because I was sitting on my bed and I was having a talk with God and he was telling me some things about myself and he was like, you are healed and you are fearless. And when I began this journey, when I first decided to leave people, places and things alone, alone that was robbing me of my peace, I instantly went into healing mode. I started buying affirmations. I started doing whatever I had to do to begin my healing process. And I started that with buying a wall tapestry uh a wall tapestry i have two of them and i have them both on both sides of my wall so that even when i'm feeling my worst all i gotta do is just go in my bedroom and look at my wall and healed and fearless are two words that are there and so is courageous bold and faith every word that is on my wall describes myself when i chose that i didn't choose it just because oh it looked nice I chose it because it spoke volumes to my soul. Like I said, this channel is called The Soul Leader. I'm not saying that I am anybody's leader, but this channel is about the soul, the soul's growth, you know. And um, when the Lord said healed and fearless, fearless meaning he was reminding me to stay fearless and don't have any because fear is not of the spirit you know spirit uh fear comes from the devil right and when he was reminding me about being healed he was letting me know that i have come far enough to to not dwell on the past to not worry and hold myself back and keep uh ruminating over what i've been through you know there's like this burning fire inside. And I know it's a burning fire inside of you. You know, and that fire never burnt out. And that's what make us all fearless. When you just keep going in the um, moment of adversity. And when the Lord said, be courageous, that is Joshua 1.9. He tell us always to be courageous and don't be dismayed. God gives us the confidence to continue to go on. And he's saying, be bold. Being bold, like step out on faith, y'all. Step out on faith. Be bold and step out on your faith. Like, I took a pause for a second because my energy wasn't correct to um, record. So I would only do things when my energy was uh, in a, in, in the uh, right frequency to, to even deliver to anybody. I'm not one of them people that make videos for money or make videos to be seen. You know, like I said, if you ever go back on any video i made from the beginning you can see the total difference within myself like i don't have to explain it i'll allow you who watch this channel or come visit and go back into my past and you'll either see what you want to see or you'll actually see every word that i share with you now i'm gonna say some affirmations to you all that i've come up with um and I hope that it helps you. I pray that it helps you and I know that it will help you. Um, so I encourage you all to not, uh, not allow the past to dictate who you are and where you're going. Because I was doing that. I was holding on to the past, you know, in fear of the unknown. But now that I'm already in the unknown, it's like... <laughs> What more can happen to me now? Because I have my peace, the very thing I prayed for. I'm not in mental slavery. I'm not in anybody's box. You know what I'm saying? 
So let me get you these affirmations. A yes man can never be a leader if he never learned how to say no. Think about that. A yes man can never be a leader if he never learns how to say no. And that was for me. That came from my heart. I knew that that was my experience. I've always had a hard time with saying no. But now that I have, I'm standing firm on who I am, I have created boundaries with people and I don't let anybody cross them. It's like the moment you even, I, I, I nip it in the bud. It's no more allowing people to play in your face. Now, another thing I can say about being a yes man is the, the guilt. The guilt about standing your ground. I have been dealing with this lately, feeling guilty for standing my ground. But the Lord says, don't feel guilty. You know, because people don't feel guilty when you don't have boundaries. You know, let me give you another one. Woe is me. Woe is you. Woe is us too. Let me repeat. Woe is me. Woe is you. Woe is us too. Now, what I mean by that is sometimes you'll find people always whining about their problems and do nothing to change it. And then you'll have those people that do th do things to change their problems, but they might be crying, woe is me. Now, you got to know the difference. Don't turn a person away because they're crying, woe is me. Know the difference between the two people who is crying, woe is me. Because a person may only just need somebody to listen. And that might be a person that may be crying, woe is me. But that person may always get up and keep moving forward too. Sometimes people have a hard time of opening up because people dismiss their pain. And you shouldn't dismiss anybody's pain. Even if they is a woe is me person, just gladly let them know like, okay, you have a problem with keep on woe is me. Woe is me too. And when I say woe is us too, that means everybody goes through things. That don't mean that anybody's pain is more greater than the other because pain is pain. But what I'm saying is if you were that type of person that all you do is complain, all you do is complain, you complain if it's hot, it's just cold. If you really that miserable, stay to yourself and go get help. Don't, um, don't bring that around other people because when you don't watch the energy that you bring, you can really affect other people. Like if you are mad, don't go in a room full of people, go cool off because you can bring that energy around people and you can start arguments, you know? Don't go around people if your energy is not in a high frequency. You know? Another affirmation. I don't create problems. I create solutions. This is the person you should always be. Don't focus on the problem. Focus on the solution. Don't focus on what was. Focus on what is and what will be. And then sometimes be careful with focusing on what will be because you'll get lost in what is. You know? Another affirmation when the privileged get famished serve them humble pie <laughs> and what i mean by the privilege are those who have pride those who are boastful those who don't believe in karma those who uh don't obey universal law you know god will gladly serve them humble pie you know um i'm trying to see if this is uh yeah, you know, so beautiful souls. I'm going to end this video on that note. I pray that it was helpful to you. So please be healed and be fearless. Be courageous and bold with your faith. Don't allow people and situations and the things that you've been through to stop you. Don't, 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 don't. When I talk about foundations and stuff, I know that it takes time to build the channel, but this is that foundation. This is built off of God, my relationship with God, your relationship with God. So peace and blessings, beautiful souls. Until next time, let me help you and together we can help one another. Peace and blessings.